keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we're gonna go over the top rec builds you can make in NBA 2K25, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, as like of the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your note again for my daily uploads. Without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Okay, so, first we're gonna go over the guards. Um, we're going over the 6-2 guard first, um, or the shorter guard. So we're gonna go 6'2 with this, 193 with a 6'3 wingspan to make sure we get that 99 three ball. Then what we're gonna do here is go 86 on our speed. That's just because it's gonna be attached to our speed with ball. We're gonna go 76 on our agility. We're also gonna go ahead and get our um, vertical to a 67 to be able to get that aerial wizard. And then of course, we'll just go 45 on the strength. Now, when it comes to the finishing, we're gonna go 80 on that driving layup because again, you wanna have that ability to hit those layups. And also, we're just gonna go 80 on the driving dunk just to be able to get some basic dunk packages along with that 45 standing dunk to get those basic standing dunk animations, okay? So the finishing is gonna be really strong. Now, we're gonna use our five cat breakers here in our three ball. We're gonna stop at 95. And of course, once you get your cat breakers at starter three, go ahead and add those four here because by adding those four, you will be able to get your legend, right? Deadeye, Limitless, Marksman, um, uh, Set Shot Specialist, and Shifty Shooter. You'll get all of these on Legend, which again, I can show you right now as you see. You'll get them all on Legend, right? Except for your Shifty Shooter, it looks like. But you'll get the main important ones here all on Legend. So we want to go back here and make sure I drop this back down and set it, all right? So then we're going to get our free throw at 91. And of course, we got to go 95 with our ball handle, okay? Now, you'll go ahead and use that extra, right? You remember, you get five. That one extra cap breaker, put it at 96 in your ball handle, and that will give you your unpluckable on Hall of Fame. We're also going to go 91 with that speed to get that lightning launch on Legend. I'm a Hall of Fame, I'm sorry. We're gonna go 78 on the pass accuracy so you can be able to still pass. Now we're gonna go 85 on the perimeter, right? And we're going 85 on that perimeter. As you can see, you get the silver challenger on ball menace and pick dodger. And then we're gonna also go 85 on the steal to be able to get interceptor on gold, which again, the passing lanes are big. So at 6-2, you basically are able to three hunt with this build, but also still get to the basket, the dunk, really really good dribbling and above average defense to play on the back end of the zone to be able to get those passing lane steals and also be able to spam on whatever that lockdown or center that's in the corner that might try to dribble you should be able to get those steals too so this right here is going to be the small point guard position as i'm trying to try to move quick here um and i think the name still comes out uh, i think it's like a three-way uh, shot creator something like that three level shot creator or something like that yep a two-way three level shot creator okay so now let's go ahead and look at this six foot six point guard version for the wreck all right so for the six foot six version obviously we're going six six 205 six seven wingspan to have a 93 three ball we're going to come down here to our physicals we're going 75 on the speed we're also just going to go 71 on the agility remember you are the in, in rec and you're going to have lockdowns that's going to be guarding or pro am and you're not going to be responsible playing on ball defense you're going to be sitting corner a lot so you do not need to have all the physicals the speed and agility and that type of deal because you're going to be sitting corner now we do need to go 79 on this vert and we're going to talk about that in a second um, we're going to go 80 on that driving layup again and this time we're going to go 89 with the driving dunk to be able to get these contact dunk animations now remember you do get five attribute cat breakers to add and this is where it's gonna happen at, all right? We're gonna use four of them here to get that 93 driving dunk. And then you would use the extra one here to get the 80, and that will give you gold posterizer. And of course, you can use your one-up badge to get that gold posterizer to Hall of Fame, all right? We're also gonna go 45 on the standing dunk. And then on our three-point shot, we're going all the way up to 93 to be able to get limitless on gold. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and go 90 on that free throw. Then we're gonna go as high we up to 93 on the ball handle 
this will give you the ankle um assassin handles for days strong handle and unpluckable so the smaller guard didn't have this but of course the bigger guard will have the strong handle on gold and then we're going to go 75 on that speed with ball to be able to either get zach levine or Jalen green dribble styles and then we're going to go 78 on that pass accuracy also now obviously we still want to have some type of defense so we are going to go 79 on that perimeter defense and we're still going to go 85 on that steal to be able to get into those passing lanes as you can tell right here to get interceptor on gold along with that silver glove that one attribute that's left over i just dropped it there but again you can figure out where you want to put these attributes but this build right here is again the 6-6 version that is going to be more of a slashing type but still have a 93 three ball to be able to shoot from the three so again you have the small version tall version of the point guard but both of them are really solid the shot creating three level threat is what the name comes out to be okay so now let's go ahead and take a look at this lockdown build for rec all right so for the lockdown for the um and rec i did go 6-6 six, six with this 215 seven foot one wingspan you have to use these because the attributes are going to be precise with this one okay now we are going to go 85 with the speed again i feel like that's going to be solid enough most of the guards are either going to have 75 speed with ball all the way up to 91 so you kind of split the difference in that one you do want to go 90 on the agility i feel like that's one of the most important ones so go ahead and go 90 on that agility and then max out your strength to 82 because this is going to give you a move or forcer we also want to go 74 on the vert and that's just going to be for those uh, for the chase down area wizard and that type of deal now on the actual finishing side of things we are still going to go 80 with that driving dunk uh, it gives you area wizard on gold and we're also going to go all the way up to 72 on the standing dunk that 72 standing dunk is going to be important because obviously you go on back door you either get the driving dunk or that standing dunk and this is where you will be able to be very successful at now on our three-point shot we're going to 83 all right not 84 but we're going 83 and that's going to give us our limitless and we're also going to just go at one attribute here on 75 to be able to get the mid-range shot we're also going to go 88 on the free throw to be able to shoot okay so as you can tell nothing really out of norm normal here this is pretty typical what you'll see with your lockdown builds we're also going to go at 78 on the pass accuracy i do not sacrifice any pass accuracy the guards are going 78 lockdowns are going 78 it just makes sense i feel like 78 has been a really good um point to go with do not not have it all right and then we're going to go 60 on the interior defense that's going to be for the paint patroller um we're going to go 95 on the um perimeter defense and this is where you'll use four of your attributes okay your your cat breakers because then it will get you obviously the challenger on legend your on ball menace will be on legend your pink dodger will only be on gold because you need to have a 92 agility to get the pink dodger the, the pick dodger on legend but in order to get the strength they move on force it here you have to just go with just selling with pick dodger on gold now if you do want to get that you're gonna have to drop your strength down and your weight and then you'll be able to get 92 agility and then you get pick dodger on legend but you know again with silver and mobile enforcer and then using your tier two one-up badge you get that on gold i feel like that's a really good um area to work with okay then we're gonna go 91 on the steel and obviously that 91 still will give you the glove and interceptor on gold and then we're gonna go all the way up to 78 on the block because that's gonna give us a high flyer on silver okay and then we're gonna go five here on our defensive rebound now we do have some attributes left over and this is where i always just say you know you pick whatever you think is best because as you can see here there is nothing that you can get outside of what you already have so maybe you go on your standing dunk you only goes up one attribute you see you get your free throws here so boom you just use it like that but regardless you use your four cap breakers here for perimeter defense. You can use that extra cap breaker here just to get the 84 three ball, okay? Um, and then this is the lockdown build that I feel would be really solid for you in the rec or in the pro-am as it has really good defense, strength, agility, shooting ability, and of course, being able to hit your back doors if need be. And it comes out as a three and D two guard, okay? So with that said, now let's go look at the two center builds that we made. The first one we're gonna look at is gonna be a pure inside, all right? All right, so with our pure inside center, we are going seven foot one, 251 pounds with a maxed out seven foot 10 wingspan, all right? Now we're gonna go 63 on our um, speed. We're gonna go 91 on our strength. That's gonna be able to give us our brick wall on gold. And then we're also gonna go 77 on our vert. And that's gonna be for obviously the pogo stick rise up area wizard etc okay now we're all going to go 90 on that standing dunk this is going to give us the elite big man contact dunks along with rise up and area wizard on 
gold. We're also gonna go 80 on the driving dunk to be able to get as many good dunk packages as possible along with an 80 driving layup because again, you are rolling to the basket so there will be times where you think you're gonna get a dunk and you get a layup so you wanna have at least physical finisher on silver, okay? Now, obviously there is no shooting but we do wanna still be able to hit our free throws. So we are gonna go 70 on our free throw. We don't want them too crazy high but at the end of the day, I still think this is a good sweet spot. And we also wanna go 93 on our pass accuracy. This is gonna give us our break starter on Hall of Fame. And again, if you wanna get it on Legend, you know what you need to do. You have to use your five cap breakers. But I have another option to use your five cap breakers, but you can either go with here, right, to get the um, 98 pass accuracy for your plus five, or you can come down here on the defensive side and you can see here, we're going 95 on the offensive rebound and then of course you can use your plus five there and then that will give you legend rebound chaser pogo stick and of course box out so you'll get all three of these on legend by using your cat your five cat breakers the reason why it's offensive rebound because you're an inside and you're going to be around the basket way much more than you would be if you were stretch okay so that's what we're doing there on our perimeter defense we are going to go 62 just so we can get this and move one forcer and we're also going to go 60 to be able to get into those passing lane steals and get the interceptor on bronze we're going to go all the way up to 93 to be able to get our block which are to to get the paint patroller on gold along with pogo stick on gold and that is pretty much it as it looks like we have some attributes left over oh i'm sorry we're going up to 80 here on our close shot because you are getting a period inside you want to get that um inside shot taken care of so that's what we're doing there and then again i had some attributes that are just kind of floating around here and i guess we can just put that on uh let's just put that on our still at a 62 okay so this is a pure inside version remember you can either get legend um break starter by using your plus five or you can get the legend rebounding by using your plus five regardless very solid big here that can do a little bit of everything um except shoot but outside of that some people love to have the pure inside big finisher and then others will want to get with that popper. It's a playmaking defensive anchor is what we're looking at. But now let's go ahead and look at our last and final build, which will be the popper build at the center position. All right, and last but not least, we are going to go at the center position with the popper. It's going to be seven foot one, 243, with this time a seven foot six wingspan, not a seven foot 10, okay? Um, we're going to still go 60 on the speed, all right? We're going to go ahead and go 91 on the strength. We still want to get that brick wall. And then we're going to go 77 on our vertical, okay? And that is, again, it's going to get us those badges we need when we do our de defensive side. Nothing really changes here. We are going to also go 80 on our driving layup and 80 on our driving dunk. We're going to this time just go 81 on our standing dunk just to get the pro big man contact dunks, but you want to get rise up on silver this time, okay? Now we're going to max out our mid-range. This is more so just to be able to get, as you can see, that dead eye, but it's really just to get the better bases because we're going to max out our three-point shot to a 79. So again, the really, it's all about using the mid-range shot just to get the good jump shot bases, and then again, working with that 79 three ball. And, and then what you wanna do here is go 79 on your free throw. And of course the pass accuracy, we're going all the way up again to a 93, all right? And we're gonna go ahead and on our interior, I mean on our perimeter defense, we're still gonna go 62 here to get a move on force on bronze. We're still gonna go 60 on our steal. And then we're also gonna get our block this time only to an 84, not a 93. All right, so you get the silver badges with this one because again, you put so much in the shooting, so we're only able to go silver. But we're still gonna go all the way up to 95 on our defensive rebound because again, you can use your plus five either on your pass accuracy for the legend break starter or use your five cap breakers here to get legend rebound chaser. With that little bit left over, go 77 on your offensive rebound. And again, the reason why it's flipped this time because you're gonna be um, on the offensive side, more than likely, you're gonna be away from the basket a lot. So you're gonna be having more opportunities on the defensive side and that's the reason why we go with the high defensive rebound on the defensive side. But again, this is gonna be the popper build, which I really like. Now, again, let me know in the comment section which of these builds you actually like and play with. Are you an inside center? Are you an outside center? Are you a lockdown? Are you a small guard? Are you a big guard? What do you think about the builds? But other than that, is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on the banger, man, and you know. When I say back soon on the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Mar, man. I'm out. Thank you.